Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is what I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a team select system. So basically like about 11 months ago I made a previous team select system tutorial but a lot of you said it was like breaking or didn't work so I'm just here to like make up the version. So first uh, to start off you just want to create your teams okay so we'll see as you can see we have two teams over here so we'll add a team and we'll have two teams okay. Make sure that the the auto assignable is false unless you want it to be assign, uh, assignable so by itself. So auto assignable is off, okay. And then this team color will be uh, really blue, okay. And we're gonna call this uh, uh, police, okay. And then uh, we'll go to this team. We'll make the team color orange, and we'll just call this uh, criminal, okay. And boom, we have our two teams. Okay, so now you want to go into starter GUI and then you want to go to screen GUI, and we'll just call this a uh, team select GUI. Okay, just like that. They're going to insert two text buttons. Okay, but first with the team select GUI, uh, reset on spawn will be uh, true for for now. Ignore action of reset on spawn will be false. Ignore guild set will be true and enable will be true. So we have two text buttons, let's just make it a nice simple square, just like this, okay? So we have this, and then we're going to duplicate it, so we have that, and then let's just make all this into the middle, okay? And then you just want to add a UI corner to both of them, just to make it like nice and rounded. So the first one, we'll just uh, make the background color blue for police, and the, this background color orange, okay? So now what you're going to do, you're going to want to call this police and then call this prisoner. So you're going to make sure that it's the team name, okay? So the text body name has to be the name of the team you want to put the player on, okay? It's just to make life easier, okay? And then let's just uh, make the text of it. Let's just do... Oh my god. What do you mean add more font? Oh, okay. So let's just have like Fredo got one, text scaled, and then let's have white with a black outline. Uh, let's see where's the outline text transparency okay so now that we have this we'll, we'll go to text button and we're gonna call this police and then we're gonna go here we're gonna call it criminal okay so you're selecting your two teams just like this and also you want to scale the UI so you want to go to oh, auto scale light plugin which will be in the description unit conversion scale the position scale the size okay just like that while selecting them as you can see it will scale Okay, wait, and, uh, wait one second, and also, if you want to keep it a square, so, uh, right, let's quickly just make it a square again, okay, let's make both of these a square, bruh, prisoner, let me take this, uh, yeah, and this has to be criminal, not prisoner, my bad, the name, okay, so this will go in the middle, and then to keep everything a square, I want to go polygons, go back to auto scale light, and then add constraint, so now everything will stay a square. Perfect. Okay, so now we have this, we can just, we have this. So now you're gonna insert a script into the police script, okay? And a script into the criminal script, which we'll do later. But for now, replicate storage, remote event, and we'll just call this uh, team select, okay? So what you're gonna do is once you're in the pol uh, police script, you're gonna do script.parent.mouseplay one click, connect function, okay? Screw up here and I want to click connect function. And then you're gonna to want to do game duplicate storage dot team select fire server. And then what you're gonna do is script up parent dot name, which is police, so it will extract it. So since the name is police and you're sending that to the server, it will know that you want to be the police team. And then we'll also do script dot parent dot parent, which is the team select GUI uh, dot enabled equals to false, so it doesn't show anymore. Okay. You want to insert that same oops you want to insert that same script into the criminal script okay you'd have to change anything since the names are already there okay and now for the final script you want to go into server script service okay we'll just call this like a uh, team switch okay game dot okay storage dot team select dot on server event connect function uh, player comma team okay and then we're gonna do just player dot team equals to game.teams find first child team so 
the team will if we send police it will be police and if it's criminal it will be criminal okay so just like that simple as that now look let's just press play and see if it works okay come on if it will load just wait like two seconds okay as you can see we are here and now we can choose between a police and a criminal as of right now I'm neutral if I press police the, G the UI goes away and I'm a police so and then if it were a criminal the same thing would happen so uh, that that's pretty much it guys so this model will be in the description and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications bye